Welcome into your Talking Pittsburgh headlines on this Thursday, April 18th, 2024. Jeremy Crosby here. Hope you're having a great day. Glad you're tuning in for us for your TF headlines. Kind of a nasty day out there today. Don't worry. It ends. Cold air is coming in, but we'll have some sunshine. So that's a good thing, right? Springtime weather, though. Don't worry. It'll get better here real soon. Let's get you the headlines we are working for you. This week is National Public Safety Telecommunicators Week across uh, the USA. And we're here celebrating in Fitchburg uh, by talking with Captain Edward Hartwick, friend of the show, sharing the importance of our telecommunicators and the great work that they're doing. So National Public Safety Telecommunicators Week is a very important uh, recognition for our true first responders. Uh, we have individuals uh, that work 24 hours a day, seven days a week to answer calls uh, when people are experiencing their worst moments. And then they're responsible for getting that information to officers and other first responders to keep everyone safe. Uh, and so uh, when most people think of the police department, they think of police officers driving around in police cars. Uh, but we have a dedicated team of dispatchers that work back here at the police department behind the scenes uh, to make sure everyone can do their job safely. Our dispatchers here at the Fitchburg Police Department, we're very fortunate to have our own communication center. Our team here, they answer our non-emergency calls. So if you call 608-270-4300, our men and women answering those calls uh, are here at the Fitchburg Police Department. If you call 911, you're talking to someone at the Dane County uh, Communication Center who are fantastic partners to have. They send that information to us. All of those incoming phone calls then get dispatched out by our dispatchers here. They're communicating on the radio with our officers who are out in the field, relaying information back and forth. Um, they also answer the phone for other city departments after hours. And so they really are a great resource for our community uh, and provide a number of services uh, that help our, our community and our officers. Now we're very fortunate to have a dedicated team. Um, our dispatch center is, um, is, is very sparsely staffed uh, and they work together fantastically well to make sure that we have coverage all the time and make sure that our community and officers are safe. And again, we appreciate all the telecommunicators across uh, or here in Fitchburg, but in Dane County across uh, the United States and all the great work that they do behind the scenes, keeping everything moving. Turning your attention to the Fitchburg Fire Department, sharing their update from March. Take a look at their monthly report. A couple of areas to look at. Calls for service had 131 medical service assists, 55 alarms, 12 motor vehicle crashes, and three structure fires. Uh, it gives you a staffing report in other events uh, if you want to stay up to date on what the fire department is doing, you check in their Facebook account or at their website, FitchburgWI.gov, to see what's going on there at the department. Turning our attention to award uh, that was uh, presented to the mayor over the weekend. On Saturday, April 13th, Mayor Julia Radafrada was recognized for uh, Board of Directors of Pro Spanica, Milwaukee, because of her role as a respected local Latino leader who consistently exceeds expectations with the Latino community in Dane County. She was recognized during event discover the power of community over competition at the spark building located in madison wisconsin the uh, mission of this organization is to empower and enable Hispanic professionals to achieve their full education, economic, and social potential. We are excited to celebrate women's accomplishments, empower, and uplift Latino leaders and unleash the power we have within. Badger Prairie Needs Network has a community meal happening this weekend. It's on Saturday, April 20th, and it's going to be going on uh, starting, uh, uh, I believe it starts at 10 a.m. Uh, nevertheless, uh, stop in for the meal, enjoy some great lunch. Lunch will be served from 11.30 a.m. to 12.45 p.m. in the Cachetta Center uh, event space. No reservations are needed, and you can see it's a very nice lineup there for some great food. Also happening this weekend, we have the Spring Waterway Cleanup, which was postponed to this weekend. It's happening on Saturday morning, uh, April 20th. It will be from 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. across five locations here in the city of Fitchburg. If you are interested in participating in our waterway cleanup, you can just show up uh, or go to our website, FitchburgWI.gov, to learn more about uh, uh, those locations. We'll be out covering this event as well. Hope to see you out there and help clean up those waterways, keep all of that stuff out of our river streams and lakes. Now that debris gets there after a storm water moves through. So we got to get that cleaned up. And finally, the annual Fitchburg Senior Center Friends Pancake Breakfast is this weekend. It is on Sunday, April 21st from 8 a.m. to noon. $10 for kids or $10 for adults and $5 for kids under 12. And of course, you can enjoy some great pancakes, eggs, sausage, coffee, applesauce, and more at the Fitchburg Senior Center. This is the biggest fundraiser for the Friends group. Have a great day, everybody.